Carretera Astral, running for 1,247 kilometers or 775 miles through some of Chilean Patagonia's most extreme and most beautiful terrain. For me, this was more about a ride. It was about the friends I made along the way. It's beautiful, huh? It's beautiful! It's about the camaraderie I found. Estamos aquí, amigo. <laughs> and it was about doing the trip with newfound friends. So let's go explore this amazing road together and see what the sights are along the way. The Carretera Austral starts off in the city of Porto Mont along the waterfront. There's just a small sign marking kilometer zero of the route to seven. It's easy to miss as I did, but it's there. Leaving the city, you quickly find yourself riding along the sea through small fishing villages and the road borders the national park Alerce Andino. After only 45 kilometers, you reach Coleta La Arena. This is where the first ferry that you need to catch on the Carretera Astral is. This ferry runs every 30 minutes throughout the day and only costs a few dollars. After disembarking the ferry, you ride another 55 kilometers through beautiful forests and head towards the mountain. This is where the small town of Orno Perin is, and this is where you'll likely need to stay the night to be able to catch the ferry the next morning. What a place, huh? What a fantastic place. It's beautiful here. It's kind of a socked in rainy day, but let's go see if we can get ourselves on a ferry. I have no reservations, so we're gonna just try to find out where to go. I think that might be the ferry just sitting out there waiting. All right, well, good news. I'm on the boat. I met some uh, Dutch riders while I'm here, but I've got the uh, bike parked back there. So we're on, let's get going. After that ferry, it's a very short ride to another ferry that'll take you to Coletta Gonzalo. There's no point in getting ahead as everybody gets on the same ferry and there's no reason to be at the front of the line. I got off of that last ferry into the pouring rain. I had 55 kilometers to go into the town of Shaitan, where I would be spending the night. I wasted no time and wanted to get to Shaitan quickly as I was already soaking wet. In Shaitan, I met up with Terry, another adventure rider from Colorado. We'd first met in Concepcion, and due to weather, I ended up catching him on the Carretera Austral. We decided that we would ride together, as we would probably go about the same pace.
So here we are, far away from the life we have known, preparing guns to go ablaze when the general orders so. It's beautiful, huh? huh? It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> This is Cristiano, a rider from Brazil on a Harley Davidson, riding the entire Carretera Austral. He had met with Terry on the ferry the day before. Along the road, we also met Andre and Alessandra. They had been on the ferry with Terry and Cristiano. They are a couple from Brazil who were riding a V-Strom 650 two up all the way down the Carretera. I like the word that Andre used when he called us a fellowship. I think it perfectly describes us. Somehow we all managed to meet along the Carretera Austral and now our fellowship was all together. We rode into the town of Puawapi where we would stay for the night. The next day, some of us were planning to hike to the Ventasquero Cogante. We're hiking, me and Cristiano. Hello, hello. Uh, Cristiano's Brazilian yes. and he's riding his Harley Davidson <laughs> from Brazil all the way here to the Carretera Austral. Talk about a crazy man. This man's crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but, I'm little American. I'm little American. <laughs> but Cristiano is doing it right, though. He tells me, I ask him why he's riding a Harley Davidson. He says, it's because it's the bike I have. Yes. And this is this is the right way to do it. Just ride whatever you have and come have an adventure. Yes. And come hike and come see a glacier. Yes. <laughs> The farther south on the Carretera that you go, the more unpaved road there is. One particular section not too far outside of Poyapi is a steep climb with many switchbacks. This part becomes a difficult challenge for some, for others it's the very reason that they come and ride the Carretera Austral. Riding past waterfalls through mountains and valleys, this part of the Carretera is very beautiful. Just before Koyaiki, the Carretera splits. You can take the paved route through El Balseo, or you can stay on the Ruta 7, which is unpaved. I, of course, took the unpaved route. Well, I made it to Kawiki for all. It was absolutely beautiful. That was a phenomenal ride. I wanted to put the drone up, but unfortunately, it was just too windy. I didn't trust putting it up in that wind. Continuing farther south, you head through the Cerro Castillo National Park. This is by far one of the most picturesque stretches on the Carretera Astral. Though it can be quite windy, it is paved and the riding is absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. 
Cerro Castillo is where the pavement ends. From here all the way to Villa O'Higgins at the end of the Carretera Astral, it's all unpaved. Here we are, we're on the dirt finally. So that was it for the pavement. There's no more pavement. This is the real, real on the Carretera. Nearing Puerto Rio Tranquilo, you start to get views of Lake Henrique Carrera. This is one of the most photographed and most iconic parts of the Carretera Astral. Everyone tries to stop and get a photo here, us included. The combination of the dirt road, the lake, the island, the mountains, it encapsulates what the Carretera Astral is about. Everybody met up in Puerto Rio Tranquilo. The next morning, we set off to do one of the most amazing things on the whole Carretera. We loaded into a small boat and headed out to see the marble caves, the marble cathedral, and the marble chapel. Yes, yeah, good. It's good. Yes. Beautiful, huh? Yes. We are need this tour. Yes, you know. Vamos. Hey, Bella, huh? To go to go fast on the carretera is to lose your time. As we pushed farther along, we tried to stay together, but with the different bikes on that terrain, the paces were sometimes very different. We stopped often and waited and regrouped when we needed to. Hola. Está solo? Sí. Mi, mi amigo. Uh, on, uh, ah, sí. De Brasil. De Brasil. Sí. Sí. Me para yo una moto. We would stay in Coleta Tortel for the night before we made the final push into Vio Higgins. The road into Tortel is quite washboarded and quite potholed. On a motorcycle like my CRF, I found that going fast and just letting the bike absorb everything and move was the best option. On the new adventure.
Howdy, howdy. Where's uh, Cristiano? I don't know. He's a, he was ahead of me. He was ahead of you? Yeah, I stopped. I stopped more, and the last time I stopped, he went past. And I didn't see him on the road anywhere. I haven't seen him. I just got here. I mean, it's not like I was. Well, where are you parked at? I got the guy. I don't put the information in the I got the. Yeah, I just got some information on hotels here. Okay. And she said there's there's rooms available. <clears throat> Um, and Cabanas, and she tried calling, and no one answered. Any of them, so, uh, I just have a map. I'll see Andre's bike over here, but I don't see Andre, and I don't see, I don't know where Cristiano is. That's funny. Maybe he pulled off somewhere at one of the docks or something to take a picture. No. I thought I might catch him because, as rough as that road was, I imagine he was going slow. Here we are in the little town of Coleta Total. So this is a really fascinating place. Everything is these wooden walkways. Um, there's no cars. You park up at the top and then come downstairs and everything and get down to this little cove and bay where the town is built into the hills and everything is just these wooden walkways. So it's a really huge place, but it's a uh, truly pretty here. It's a cool spot. final day, it was just Cristiano and I. Andre and Alessandra had gone on an earlier ferry and Terry decided to stay in Tortel and try to sort out some logistics. So off Cristiano and I went to go catch the last ferry on our way to Vio Higgins. made the ferry. There was actually one two hours earlier than they told us. Um, so we just got here in time and this one just pulled up. So we're going to get on. On the ferry, Cristiano became somewhat of a celebrity. Chilean television was filming a documentary on the Carretera and they thought his story was worth filming. It's exactly 100 kilometers from when you disembark the ferry to the end of the Carretera Austral. They say some things are worth doing because they're difficult. This is one of those. This stretch of the Carretera is some of the most difficult riding, but it's also some of the most stunning scenery and some of the most interesting. That alone makes it worth doing. Riding through this awe-inspiring landscape, you understand why the Carretera Austral is one of the truly great adventure riding roads in the Americas. The combination of the distance, the difficulty, the remoteness, and the amazing scenery make riding this route a truly memorable experience.
Cristiano and I made sure to link back up to ride the last few miles into Vio Higgins together. It seemed very fitting that the two of us who'd become such quick friends would finish this route together. Estamos aquí, amigo. <laughs> the road continues for seven kilometers after Vio Higgins. We set off to meet Andre Alessandra and a Chilean television crew at the end of the road. People travel for many reasons. I don't even recall the reasons from when I set out so many months ago. Now, I know that I travel for the experiences like this. The people that you meet and the experience that you have along the way are what make the adventure so rich. Doing this route with new friends made it truly special. I can say without a doubt that this trip would not have been the same without them. You never know where you will meet people, but I can honestly say with certainty that I made lifelong friends while riding the Carretera Austral. Now, we get to share a moment few ever get to as we complete one of the last great adventure roads in the world. We did it. We are at the end of the road. It's Chris. It's Cristiano and I. We made it, buddy. We, we made, made it. We made this together, man. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Yeah. yeah. So Us that's going to be the end of the trip here from the Carretera Austral. Um, you'll have to keep watching to see where I go on the next part. Yesterday